Hello, Ron Edwards here again. In my earlier blogs, I invited you on a journey of discovery. My goal is to help everyone understand what we're really doing here and why. You remember the system, right? It's the financial and bureaucratic maze that we must cope with on a daily basis. Most of us do not do well in this battle, and most of us also don't know why we don't do well. We just know that things could be a lot better. As I previously told you, I was once a financial, financially successful person with no serious health problems. I'm still that guy. When I learned that I was expected to progress in a downward spiral health-wise, I realized that now was the only time I had to change the course of my battle. Quite fortunately, a good friend helped me to understand how to beat the system that we live in. So how do we? beat the system, that is. I discovered that one of the first steps was to actually recognize there is a system. Many people don't believe it even exists. They think that this is just how life is and the best we can do to cope. The best we can do is to cope with all the frustrating madness that's constantly thrown at us. I know how exasperating this can be. I'm sure you do as well. But I'm convinced that the first step in winning any battle is to understand our enemy better. Here are some of the attributes of the system that are important to know. First, it's seamless in its construction. You will never see holes in its story. It's been around for a long time and has obviously refined its methods. It has reached such a height of perfection that we rarely recognize it even exists. This is one of its primary goals. Two, it never sleeps. We have difficulty imagining our lives without the system. It has been part of the scenery since we were toddlers. The average person couldn't even determine where to turn if the system disappeared. In our limited understanding, it is all-encompassing. Three, it does not play favorites, it takes no prisoners, and it forgives no one. We are so used to the way it treats us, we have trouble envisioning an alternative. We are all so conditioned to believe that life is hard and unfair. My father told me this when I was a kid, and it just became my reality. There was no reason to question this argument, as I couldn't imagine any other options. And last, its agenda is the most appealing and addictive we have ever encountered. Few people will be interested in any alternative to the system. It could likely be too challenging for them, to understand both emotionally and intellectually. The system is counting on this fact as well. I suspect that the only opportunity for the truth to be told was through religion. The church could begin to tell the true story of our existence here, but that's highly unlikely as today's religious institutions are by and large part of the system. Plus, if we do not know the benefits of sunshine, it's quite possible that we ne may never come out of the shade. So now what? Please visit our website to determine answers to these issues and others. We can be found at thespiritualcpa.com. Thank you.